Hey guys, Christoph the Polish Geek back but, and welcome to another review and this time I'm reviewing for you a Finnish movie Sisu yeah this movie apparently has been out in Finland since like 2022 but here it just came out now so yeah I have a review for, for of, I have a review for you of it now and the movie was pretty great gritty gory action flick with a very masculine protagonist the story isn't anything particularly special, but again, again, it didn't really need to be. Because again, it's just a very gory and gritty action movie with a with a very masculine protagonist. And the story is that that Finnish prospector, Ami Korpi, has found gold, and of course, Nazis who are occupying Finland, or more specifically Lapland, the northern part of Finland. I really, that I've been to, by the way. It's a very awesome part, by the way. But yeah, the Nazis, they're occupying Lapland, want the gold for themselves, so of course they try to hunt him down. But it's not a smart thing to do, because Scorpi has a history of fighting Soviets, and he single-handedly has defeated like thousands or even millions of them, literally. So it's not a very smart thing for the Nazis to try to hunt him down. And of course, Scorpi wins, and brutally kills them in various different ways. <laughs> So, yeah, and it's all so enjoyable and really fun to watch. I also love the unique thing they did in this movie is that they made Corpy completely silent. Like, he almost never speaks in the movie. I mean, he almost doesn't speak at all, actually. And I even thought maybe his character was supposed to be mute, because as I said, he literally almost doesn't speak at all. Although I turned out to be wrong, because he does speak in the final scene. And I thought it was a wicked cool twist, actually. I mean, if you can call it a twist, because the story admittedly doesn't really have any twists or turns, because as I said, it's not really supposed to. It's a very simple action flick that's more about the masculine protagonist being violent with the Nazis than about a true deep story. But again, it doesn't really need a very deep story. I also love how the movie contrasts the Nazis and Corpy. Like, Corpy is a very strong masculine man and he's completely silent, but he He's very, very honorable and a good guy and only gets what he believes earns. In contrast to the Nazis who actually believe they're owed everything and they can own everyone. So when they occupy Lapland, they literally try to enslave everyone. And they even enslave the whole bunch of women and lock them in the in their Nazi tank. Yeah, so it's also wicked fun to watch when Corpy gives them what they deserve because... In contrast to them, he has lots of honor. And he doesn't even try to attack them. He only starts fighting them when they specifically start targeting him. Also, I think the pacing of the movie is great. Like, in contrast to the Rent Renfield that I reviewed not that long ago, which I thought the pacing on their hand was way, way too fast. But here, pacing is perfect. And I also love the cinematography here and landscapes and scenery. Yeah. Like, Lapland will simply look beautiful, and I loved all the visuals and scenery in this movie. Like, I actually been to Lapland, this very northern part of Finland, and there was lots of snow there when I was, since I was in the winter. In this movie, although it's pretty obvious that the climate that is very, very cold, there wasn't really any snow. But it's okay, it probably took place in a different season, but even though there's no snow, it totally feels like... This is, like, it's very cold there, honestly. Yeah. And as I said, the scenery and landscape, landscapes were simply feasts for the eyes. And I loved looking at them. Now, if I have to give a flow of this movie, actually, is admittedly that Corpy is a little bit too powerful. Like, there is lots of and lots of suspension of disbelief and plot armor in this movie. Like, there are many situations where Corpy should have technically been killed, but he doesn't. Like, there is even a scene towards the end where he crashes the plane and gets out of it completely. Like, I was really hoping that maybe they will kill him off in the end as a symbol to discuss that he is mortal after all, because a part of him being immortal is actually kind of discussed in the movie a lot. And some people say, oh no, he's not immortal, he's just not willing to die. Which, I guess, is a good explanation, but at the same time, 
Maybe killing him off in the end would actually be a good idea, that way it could reinforce the idea he is mortal after all. He, that way he would die a hero who saved, the, who saved the people from occupants, while at the same time show that he's still not immortal, because, <laughs> yeah. So if you are someone that wants logic, then it's certainly not a movie for you, because, as I said, like, Corpy gets lots and lots of plot armor and survive situations that nobody in real life would survive. So, again, if you want logic then and realism, then this is most certainly not a movie for you. Overall, though, I say Sisu is a great action flick with a very masculine protagonist and so much fun to watch. With And a plus with very beautiful landscapes and amazing scenery. So... I recommend Sisu, as long as you're willing to suspend your disbelief. And thank you guys for checking out this video. Press the like button. Please subscribe to this channel. Did you see Sisu? And talk to you later. Bye!